happen, it's nice to point in the direction of those who made those things happen. We're going to do that right now with what goes on not only with marketing, but the retro unis and helmets and socks and field. And that man's name is David Almodova, uh, and he is on BYU Sports Nation. Welcome back, David. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Okay, I know it takes a long time to make things happen that matter. So what went into <laughs> this retro uni, socks, jerseys, field, helmet, all this this weekend? So a lot of conversations over the years. Um, we knew a few years ago from Tom, our athletic director, that this would be the 150th year of college football. A few years ago you years planned ago. this. Absolutely. Wow. So we started talking, having early discussions, and um, obviously we wanted to pinpoint a game that we would do a lot more than for the rest of the season. And so the Washington game was one that we looked at as far as doing a throwback game. And so conversations started taking place a few years ago. Um, it takes a while to get the jerseys made and, you know, and the way Nike operates, it just takes a lot of time. And so working with a lot of different people, Mick Hill, our equipment director, um, he was heavily involved, um, obviously, and, you know, with Coach and, and everybody else that's involved with this. How's that like with, with Nike? I always wanted to get a better idea of that. You know, is it, do you guys come in and say, look, we went in like this. Here's some designs that I had on a napkin. You know? <laughs> That's where it starts, right? <laughs> it starts, it starts. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so how, does, how does that uh, that conversation go? Yeah, so just, you know, we have X amount of color combinations that we can wear. And so um, as we talk with Nike, and, and usually that's done with Mick and with Tom and Brian, and so they'll have those earlier conversations that take place years before. Mm -hmm. And so it was as you rotate through uniforms, as you rotate through rotate through jerseys and colors um, obviously the white one when Kalani was hired that was one of the first things we had talked about is bringing the white jersey with royal ro royal colors back and mm. so that started I mean he's been here four years now so well yeah what are those uh, color combinations by the way royal navy white is that it or there is right is black out of the mix is that still a thing? currently currently out of the mix currently okay, okay. Yeah. it was in there a few years ago when it's are we gonna see the royal helmet tans out right no tan Tans out. Thank you. Tans out. There's, we, there's Whenever I've seen anything with tan, I'm like, please. There's tan? Please, no. Oh, back in the... Oh, in the yeah, it's a... It before a, you got here. It right? was a dark time. Oh, okay. It was a okay. really dark That's time. That's weird. Tan. Yeah. Okay, so who came up with it, this specific design for... And they, and let's let's be specific. It's not like 1964. It's 60s right. and 70s, right? Right. It was a combination of, of the logo and what transpired back in the 60s. Um, we had a committee put together as far as how we would roll this out and how we wanted the helmet to look. So it's just tying back to the 60s and pre previous to that. And so it was just with the helmet, tying into the 150 years of college football, the jersey. We haven't worn that jersey in 20 years, and so let's bring that back. Um, the Sox. socks. The socks uh, were, were brought back in the 70s and 80s, and Mick uh, had those socks shipped and actually had to be stitched. The company that made the socks back in the 70s is the same company that made the socks for our game on Saturday. Wow. How did we track that down? That's incredible. Mick Hill. Mick Hill tracked Mick Hill. it down. Absolutely. How do, we, how, do we get, how do we get some of those socks? Exactly. Mick. Well, Mick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find that out, too. <laughs> exactly. How about the field? Because there's field. kind of these retro diamonds in blue, yep. right? So that was an end zone that we used back in the 60s as well. And so, again, meeting with our committee, meeting with our grounds crew to make sure we could do this. You know, it's a tight turnaround from last week's game. So with the field, so they're doing some magic to the field as of right now as we speak. So this is this is like a, a, a whole theme thing because usually when and it's you concessions hear like, too, yeah. right? And Absolutely. Stuff, right? So with concessions, uh, they're doing a two dollar hot dog. It's regularly four dollars, so they've dropped it, you know, fifty percent off. What? And so we'll have the hot dogs. But the food standards will be twenty nineteen, right? Yes. <laughs> they yes. will be nineteen sixty three. Yeah. We couldn't bring everything down to fifty cents and a dollar. <laughs> yeah. So should should like fans should they come like dressed in like sixties seventies? Hey, 50s, 40s, 30s. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do that. But just in white. It's a white so out. It's white. So. Okay. And we okay. should mention Cougar Canyon's been a smash hit, by the way. Congratulations on that. I know that's taken years for you guys to organize. And this weekend, Ty Detmer, Mo Elowinibi, Jason Buck are back right. with their trophies. I mean, this is pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll have Mo and Jason both, you know, we're Outland Trophy winners. Uh, Mo hasn't been back to campus since he played here. Oh, oh this wow. is awesome. So wow. he's coming back. He's bringing two of his kids with him. And so Mo and Jason will be on Cougar Canyon with the Outland Trophy uh, for photo opportunities. Nice. Um, Ty will be with the Heisman Trophy in the Cougar Club tent. That's just adjacent to Cougar Canyon. So Ty will be there as well. Also, Duran Gray's coming back to oh, run, out, do we? run out the flag. Love it. Um, Kozlowski will be here as well doing some oh, other things. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love Glenn. Yep. He tried to kiss me on the show one time. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. So a lot going on. You know, game programs are also throwback. Um, cool. A lot of the graphics that we've done. There'll be some in-stadium graphics on the video board that we're taking back 
in time. Nice. Not nice. black and white. We're gonna, still going to go color on the video. It'll board? be color. Okay. We'll also have some throwback music going on throughout the stadium. Cool. As well. Nice. So. This is exciting. Yeah. Re- congratulations on Cougar Canyon on the throwbacks. A uh, lot of juice, and it helps when BYU wins, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. David, appreciate the time, man. Thank you.